This is just a quick question to all you burnt out leaders that are currently on the job search. So, hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I'm a leadership and career coach that guides leaders to create a career they can love. So if you feel stuck, if you're ready for something new, send us a message, reach out, read and respond to everything. We have coached and guided hundreds upon hundreds of leaders to their next fulfilling job and career. And we have solutions that can help you. All too often, I start working with an executive client. I mean, it could be any level, really. And this individual is burnt out. They feel overworked. They feel like they have to respond to their emails at all hours of the night. Or even just respond to Slack or team messages or text messages or phone calls even immediately. There is no wait time involved. And the idea of waiting 24 hours or 48 hours makes them afraid that they're going to be fired. What's kind of strange about this is they're looking for a new job. They're not in a job that they want, but they're acting like they do. And I get it, the fear of being fired, the idea of being let go, terrifying for some people. It's like who you are at your core and you feel like you're, you're getting rejected. But if we can't switch that mentality away from, I have to keep this job to, I have to get a new job, then you might not. You have to figure out how to prioritize what that next job is. So job search activities such as networking or applying to positions, creating safe boundaries so you have more energy, you feel more healthy and more positive and more optimistic when you're going into job opportunities, interviews, etc. Even like finding opportunities to prep for those interviews and those conversations. If the next job is your priority, take a look at your schedule and your time and how you're treating your current job and ask yourself if it truly is. And what's one thing you can do to reprioritize your time, your tasks, and hopefully let go a little bit of the fear, become a little bit fearless to live more for yourself.